Oh yeah, get those dopamine receptors ready. Get ready to have some of your internal biases affirmed or destroyed, because it's time to rank some engine sounds. No, this is gonna be about cars and motorcycles only, aircraft, boat, and etc. will not be in this video. Also, everything here is just my opinion, blah blah blah, you know the drill, just have fun, let's begin. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up top. F tier, single cylinder 50cc mopeds. Uh, I'm sorry, these just all sound like they're bees buzzing in my ear. Uh, at least my Super Cub has the decency to have gears, so it's not one continuous sound. And let's be honest, something had to take F tier, so here it is. D tier for doot 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 doot. Obviously, VQ gang goes here, not gonna say anything else about that. One cylinder mini motos also go here. So before it sounds like I'm hating, remember I literally own one of these vehicles being a Super Cub, which shares the same engine as the Grom and Monkey. To me, most single cylinder mini motos also make trumpet noises. They're kind of just means to an end, so they're either a commuter, a learner bike, or a stunt bike, usually not a dream machine. But that doesn't mean I don't like the vehicles. Obviously, they're super charming, and I'd honestly rank them S tier from a fun standpoint because they're super cheap and hilariously fun to beat up on. Something something had to be down here though, so D tier. Moving on to C tier, just average tier. Okay, this is gonna make a lot of people mad, but come on, I, I can't just make a tier list and put everything in S tier. That's not how rankings work. You know, C tier, let me reiterate, does not mean bad. It just means average. And don't lie to me when I'm gonna show you what I'm about to show you and try to say to me that it's not average because it's literally average. Like the literal definition of average. The most sold car in the world uses this engine layout. You can't get more average than that. Competition is a thing, and when y'all about to see the insane engines we're putting up top, you gotta understand why this one is here. It can't compete against the cooler sounding engines up top. That doesn't mean it's a bad engine. Like I said, it's just average. It's kind of like your starter Pokemon, right? When you ask someone who's like new to Pokemon, they're always gonna answer like Charmander or Squirrel or whatever. It, it's pretty basic, right? You know, it's pretty basic if you say that, but it's okay to still say that. You know, you got really nice, cooler, exotic picks that you'll eventually learn to choose when you get more into the game, but anyone who starts off is always just just gonna give out the safe answers you know that's kind of how I feel about inline fours this is the starter car for most car enthusiasts just like the starter Pokemon so for most beginner enthusiasts they think it's cool because they're, it's their first car ever and it's like their only experience so far uh, well, let's move on before they caught on to what I just said because I purposely mentioned it at the very end and I don't know blah, 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 blah. single cylinder thumpers so a thumper is a common nickname given to most war motorcycles or single cylinder dirt bikes that are four strokes and basically they get their name from the fact that the position of their engine makes a sound that travels directly perpendicular with the ground, thus thumping against it. You can actually hear and feel these vehicles vibrate the ground beneath them. Not an overly cammed V8 way, but more of a humble, classy way. These are far from the coolest sounding, but for how cheap these bikes are, and the fact that they're still a single cylinder is actually kind of impressive, so I'm shocked they even placed this high. But again, very impressive for such a cheap, simple, designed engine to, to rank this high. You know, I like the way my Royal Enfield sounds. I like the way old BMW sound, you know, like a proper classic warbird. Very timeless. Parallel Twin. Okay, so this might be the most controversial placement, but I'm sorry. Something about Parallel Twins just doesn't stand out to me. Again, not a bad sound. Just, they're so painfully average. V-Twins have this character and soul to them. I know that might make me sound like a typical boomer, and you know what, who am I kidding? I, I am a boomer. I may be 26 on the outside, but my soul chose to be 66 on the inside. Moving on to B-Tier, we have Boxer. Four, because of course Boxster is going to be in B. Yeah, four-cylinder Boxsters to me are the only mainstream four-cylinder sound that I actually adore. I consider it above average. And it's not the coolest sounding sound ever, mostly because I still have to hear it four in the morning every time a Vape Nash Subi Bro blasts to work, but it's still a distinct and pleasant sound. Unequal headers on Boxsters, they go pretty hard. <laughs> So yeah, you know what? These are definitely still cool. They're cut above the rest. Inline threes, definitely a cool sound, but also kind of an acquired taste. You know, up here in B means I consider it a sound that is above average in pass C, but I feel nothing, I guess, no extreme fondness for it. Triumph's inline threes are amongst the best sounding of inline threes. And of course the car guys are gonna give the generic GR Yaris is the answer. Nah, man, Triumph rock it, baby. Or even the street triples. Oh man, do they sound so cool. <laughs> Don't get me wrong though, I guess the GRRs is also a pretty good example of an inline 3 sound from a car standpoint. Moving 
on to A tiers. This is where we get some of the big boys. Starting it off, we got the twin turbo V6s. Don't think I'm just an American fan because I love me some spoolie boys, especially when paired with a high revving V6 from the Maserati MC20 to the Nissan GTR or the new Ford GT. Twin turbo V6s are definitely something that are kind of making a name for themselves in this day and age with the constant choking of displacement regulations and other bureaucratic decisions that are causing the car culture to ever suddenly, I don't know, probably die. I don't know. Well, let's not think about that. This engine, while, while engines still make noise, we can still make a video like this. And for that sake, twin turbo V6s have slowly warmed my heart over the years where I would, I would give them an A tier. <laughs> And the next engine we're going to talk about has kind of had the opposite effect from time. Time has been kind to my perception of twin turbo V6s. Time has not been kind to my perception of V12s. Keep this in mind. Me putting V12s in A tier clearly means I don't hate it. It means I still very much think they're cool sounding. They're, they're not a B tier and they're not average C tier. These are still in the cool tier category. But... Is it kind of bad that video games made V12s become less cool sounding to me over time? Because this used to be an S tier to me growing up as a kid. And don't dare call me a hater for placing it here because again, just remember A tier is still really, really high. But there's just something that's mind numbing about hearing the 10,000th Aventador swapped car in every single Forza lobby ever. And the fact that even when I listen to the Bugani Zonda R and even that, ah, it just doesn't hit the same, bro. It actually is tragic. So many video games, even non-racing, games have v12 sounds in them nowadays and don't get me wrong in real life v12s are still marvels of engineering and i still enjoy hearing them in real life but even irl i've been hearing them pretty commonly recently because you know you got aston martins you got lamborghinis and once you start going to like a car meet especially if you live in a big city like me you actually do see a lot of v12 cars and oh my lord has that kind of it's a little bit jaded me just a little bit no matter what i'll always think these still sound monstrous and brutal and exotic and cool <laughs> It definitely, definitely still riles up emotions within me. So still an easy, solid A rank. The flat six, a good old Porsche. This is what we're gonna round off the end of A tier with because not as cool sounding as V12s in my opinion, but I do love me some flat sixes. Porsches, do they be hitting my brain with all that good old dope mean? And heck, it don't even have to be a Porsche. You ever heard a Honda Goldwing for a quiet couch on two wheels? This boomer bike has no right sounding as cool as it does. Like I know regular car reviews is like, you're stupid if you put an exhaust on these. It defeats the point of it. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Regler, I'm a hard disagree. You want a motorcycle shaped couch that you can make Porsche sounds through town with? You don't have 60 grand to go buy a Porsche, but you got 10 grand to buy a used Goldwing. You can straight pipe that Goldwing and it will sing. <laughs> it will sing, my friend. Rounding off the bottom of A tier will be a classic V-twin push rod. Gotta love me that good old potato, put the tut, put the tut, good old air-cooled Harleys. They just got that chop and low, bro. And if you got a cam in it, it just rumbles real nicely. Even the modern Milwaukee 8s, you throw a cam in them, it brings back some memories. You know, might not be quite as cool as the twin cams, but you know what? It is still nice. These engines may sound like a truck that's struggling to start and gurgling a whole bunch of mouthwash, but god do I love them so much. Moving on to S tier, this is where things get super duper serial. And starting it off, we're gonna talk about inline sixes. Turbo or NA, I think every single inline six, they sound fine. From BMWs to Supras to Skylines, they all sound absolutely divine. A complete tie across the whole board. V3 
Thor. So this is the highest ranking four cylinder. That is an absolute honor. I still consider it behind the inline six, but the fact that this skipped past A and landed right into S, any motorcyclist fanatic ever has a soft spot for the V4 somewhere in their heart. While the V4 was a completely forgotten child that was disowned by its original family in the automotive community, it found a fantastic forever home with its foster family in the motorcycle world because it is very commonly used, still constantly engineered and improved, and absolutely, absolutely one of the coolest sounds to zip on by. V10s of any kind. Topping off the top of S tier is going to be a V10. From the Viper to the BMW M6 S85 and of course an old super legera Gallardo. V10s exist in a strange dividing line right on the boundary between brutal and exotic, deep and rumbly like a V8 but high pitched and screaming like a V12. An absolute symphony. <laughs> The Lexus LFA is legendary, and I know some of y'all are going to be upsetty spaghetti that this isn't an SS tier, but I feel like that's too much of a cop-out to say what most people already think, because we're all different humans at the end of the day. Remember, S tier is still a very high honor, especially the top of S tier, so take that as you will. But before we leave S tier, we're just going to throw cross-plane V8s in here. Uh, pushrod or not pushrod, any kind of cross-plane V8 is fine. <laughs> So the crossplane V8, really cool sound, love it. Obviously, I love it. I have two of these morons in my garage, one of which I've um, done a 180 degree conversion that makes it make flat play noises, but we're not going to talk about that. Good old slice of America, apple pie and everything included. And that finishes off S tier, but before we move on to the final rankings in SS tier, here are some engine configurations I don't have a ranking for. Don't get offended by anything here, it just means I literally don't have an opinion on it, like I just genuinely have no idea what to do with these, because I haven't heard most of these IRL, therefore I don't feel comfortable ranking them, because online videos never do the actual sound justice, and again, I really wish I'd had that knowledge, so let's just start off with V16s. I've actually never heard one of these in real life. They sound cool in video games, and in videos, but again, you know, I can't give them a true ranking out of respect for the day that I someday will get to savor one of these sounds in real life. Gotta keep it fair, you know? Inline 8s. These can sound either really angry, high-pitched bumblebees or like your average cammed muscle car. Again, I haven't heard any of these in real life. And if I did have to rank them, they're so different sounding because of the fact that they're such a weird engine architecture in the first place, that'd be hard to get a true opinion for them. Inline 5s. So I actually have heard these in real life. I just don't have an opinion on them. That's actually just my way of saying I fear the wrath of Inline 5 fans. So to any Inline 5 owner, just imagine I put this into whatever tier you wanted, okay? Yeah, yeah, just just gotta use your brain for this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. No affirmation for y'all today. You're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to work for that affirmation. Imagine it, bro. Because I'm a Koenigsegg fanboy, I refuse to use my own voice when talking about Bugatti engines. The W engine goes into Wumbo tier. I Wumbo, you Wumbo, he, she, me, Wumbo, Wumboing, Wumbology, the study of Wumbo. It's Volkswagen. It's always been Volkswagen all along. Everything will someday become Volkswagen. Run. Run while you still can. And with that, we got SS tier. This final ranking is the absolute best engine sound humankind has ever created. The pinnacle of engineering. The absolute best of the best. Are you ready for it? It's the flat plane V8. Some may call me crazy for putting this above V12s, but something about a Ferrari V8 or even the new C8 Z06 V8 just hits different. Exotic scream with a rumble down low. Absolute 8 to 9k RPM. These engines still sound mean and were the sound of my dreams. Just kidding. You thought, you thought flat plane V8 are the actual SS tier? Nah, real SS tier. Of course it was gonna be here. No need to fear. For anyone who's wondering where it was gonna be on this list, it could only be here. Rotaries. No, Bladed, you can't just say brap, 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 over and over and end the video. Too bad. <laughs> Anyway, 
anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe for more automotive content. Make sure to check out my other videos. They're 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 totally fun. I promise. Seriously, y'all y'all really missing out on some of these videos. They don't get much views these days. I'm I'm dying inside, man. I'm trying my best. Other than that, though, thanks for watching and see y'all next time. Blade Angel out.